Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today you're going to just walk through my day a little bit. I hope you enjoy seeing what I do. It's only some of the stuff that I do. And then um, we'll come back and say goodbye. Time to feed the chickens. They're ready for me. And I brought everything in the house. doing Jake look at him he's looking all the stuff from the chicken food here Jake move I bought these waste baskets so that I could have the chicken food a lot handier before I used to, have to go out in the cold and get this stuff but it's so much easier just to have it right here And they're all at the gate waiting for me. And then I give them some chicken scratch with it. Like, whoops, I just spilled that one. Jake will clean it up, I'm sure. <clears throat> and I put my boots on. Gotta have my boots. It's muddy outside. And they're all waiting. Oh, the store is so heavy. Good morning there, girls. How are you? Got to back up so I can get in. Back up. Everybody's waiting. Okay, let's go in. Hey, chick, 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 chick. You still have food from yesterday. Well, we'll dump that. Um, let me dump this so that you girls will peck at it later. Okay. Here, chick, 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 chick. There you go. Here's the other one. There you go. Enjoy. There's pretty boy. He's not real pretty, but there he is. And there's Lady Jane. I wish you'd get your feathers. Good heavens. And Silver Fox. I can't see in the camera. I don't know what you're seeing, but I can't see anything. Open the gate. And close the gate. That's it. <clears throat> I really need to clean this corner out. Got my watering can, my boots, and it's it gets pretty dusty, dirty here because I just this is as far as I go with my dirty stuff. And this floor, this house is an old barn. Well, it was an old farmer's house, and um, if you notice my floor. This used to have a big area rug on it at one time before when the other people owned it. And they paint just the out, outer edge brown. Well, I did have a carpet in here, but I took it out 
because Jake, he likes to go to the bathroom this way. But I had a carpet like this one put in there. It did have, it did have a carpet like this. Oh, the sun is bright. You can see my shadow. I have a little shadow. Goes in and out with me. And what can be the use of it is more than I can see. It's very, very like me from heels up to my head. And I see it jump before me when I jump into my bed. Well, this is the carpeting. And then we took it out, and this is the floor that we have. Lovely floor. It's got a lot of yuck on it. It's so... My kids, when they were little, I wouldn't let them walk on this floor because they'd end up with a sliver. Ruthie from Popo Backyard Farm wanted to know or said that a video of um, voice activated would be kind of fun. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to comment on Michelle May's video. I just watched it for a second time because she has a lot of good um, points and good information and I wanted to comment again. I had to watch it twice because I really like to have her conversations sink in and she g gives you a lot of food for thought. So if you haven't tried Michelle May's, it's called Michelle May B. Zesty Girl. I would I would um, check her out. This is a picture of her. There's one of her videos. That when I watch, you can see the red line. Whenever you see a red line across these, it means I watched them. This one will have a red line too. And what I want to tell her is, I want to comment on this video again. I've already commented once, but I'm going to comment again because I really wanted to listen again. Um, and we'll show you how it works. At first, I push the little voice thing and see it's showing my voice. Oops. And it's catching my talking. Can you see that? And I'm going to now stop it so I can delete it and start again. And then when you're done, you push done. And that's my voice. It says voice things you see is showing my voice and cutting my talking. Can you see that I am going to now stop it so I can delete it, it, it and start again. And then when you're done, you push done. See, it catches every single word you say, so it's kind of nonsense talking there right now. We're gonna re we're gonna delete it. And for me to delete on here, I have to just hold my finger down and hope that everything goes away. Okay, now we'll try and do a real comment. Hello, Michelle May. Then I push done because it won't put my comma in. I want to put a comma in. But I gotta, does it wanna keep writing? Yes, I do. And I wanna capitalize her May because in her name, her, her May is capitalized. Now I have to think, how do I wanna say this before I push the microphone? This is always a challenge because when you're typing, a lot of times you'll type something, read it, and then delete it and start again. And when you voice activate, you, you um, have to watch that you don't stammer. You have to know exactly what you want to say before you actually say it. Otherwise, you're, you're editing a lot. So let's see. You brought up a lot of good points. I like the one about knowing your end goal and why and the purpose in your life and what you want people to say about you when when you're passing. What was your life? What did your life mean? See, I have to back it up now. Oops, done. Okay, I goofed in that one, so I've got to back up. Oh, so sometimes it takes longer to do this than it actually does to just type it.
but what I'm doing with one finger only on here, um, it takes longer to just type it. Let's see, where did I leave off? Okay, I said, hello, Michelle May, you brought up a lot of good points. I like the one about knowing the end goal and why and the purpose in your life and what you want people and that stopped with the there I'll start there to remember you by when you die now it done I gotta back it up because um back up again when let's see and why, and the purpose in your life, and what you want people to, I gotta take that extra T out there, want people to, and it's got do, let's see, wait a minute, this is why it's hard with the, it just, ugh. there we go, in your life, and what you want people to, I'll go back, whoops, to remember you by when you die. I'll just put the E in. And then I put my little heart and my name because it's like signing a letter and post and it's done. And there's my comment. So, Michelle, when you get this one, you'll know what it says before you actually read it, unless you read it now. I usually wait until morning to read my comments. Sometimes I do them in the evening, right after I've posted, but a lot of times it's in the morning. Well, that's it. It's a beautiful day, so we're going to go pay the electric bill. sun is shining. It looks like it's really warm out. Well, it's not bad. There is a breeze. We'll go get in the car and go pay the electric bill. Take you with me. And there's the building that I'm going to go in. That's where we pay our electric bill. Now we're going to go right back home. They're taking down the Christmas decorations in the town. I see the snowflakes against the pole. And there's a bicyclist. Well, the electric bill is paid, and I had a feeling Jim took the motorcycle this morning because his Jeep is still here. So apparently he felt it was warm enough to ride. Whoops, forgot to shut my door. And the door comes down. That handle that's on the outside, when, before we had the electric connected to the door, he put that on there because I could not push the door up, no way, no how. So I used to hang onto that handle and this is how I pushed it up. I would use the handle. Otherwise, you had to put your fingers into the little lip of the door and push up, and it was too hard, so I used the handle. That's it for today. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.